Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. Today we're reviewing the Bike Hand Bike Cable Cutters. If you're looking for a precise way to cut bike cables, you're in the right spot because we're going to talk through how well these cable cutters work. I'll demonstrate it real quick. So if you struggled with these kind of frayed cables on your bike, they are a pain. Let's step through how nicely the bike hand cable cutters work. These will work on the housing as well as brake cables and shifter cables. So I have right here a heavier bike brake cable. Let me demonstrate how they will cut the housing. And then I'll show you a little trick as well. Nicely cuts off a clean cut, making it perfect for using on your brakes. Now here's the little hack. Get yourself a little tool. This is just an old wood block, and I sharpened up a nail, stuck it in the end. You can stick that into the end of the housing. Use that in order to open up the housing for your cable to easily pass through. So that's the housing. Let's cut the cable. Actual cable cutters, if you see it, they clasp all the cables together, ensuring you get a nice tight cut. A little bit of pressure, snip. Everything stays together. The cables are in one nice bundle. Get your cable ends, put it on, and there's a built-in crimper on these as well. Just put it in the groove, clamp it down, and you've got your crimper end to make sure everything stays nice and clean. I highly recommend the bike hand cable cutters. These have been a reliable set of tools. As you can tell, I've used these for years and they've held up for multiple bike repairs. A great tool for any home mechanic.